Hello, honey. How are you? I am not fine. I'm feeling lonely at home. Please, when are you coming back? Sorry, I will be back in an hour. I'm with my friend. So, honey, tell me what are you going to buy for me as my birthday gift? Alpha, Romeo, can you hear that? Wow. Thank you, my darling husband. You mean, you are going to buy a car for me, not just a car, Alpha Romeo. Thank you, thank you so much. You are the best husband. I love you. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Sorry, I don't understand what you are talking about. There is noise here. We will talk when I come back. Bye, love you. How far? Romeo, did you just hear that? Is my wife again? What did she want? Maybe she need you at home. She is asking, what am I going to buy for her, as birthday gift? Then, what did you tell her? I told her, we will talk when I'm back home. That one is not on my agenda for now. To be a man, is not a big job. Ciao, good day. Ciao. I would like to have two cups of coffee, for my friend and I. Alright, I will get back to you shortly. You guys may take your sits over there. All right then, thanks. So, what's up Stanley? Let's get back to your matter. First, I have to tell you one thing. Consigning what you said that is the reason why you broke up with Jennifer. Don't go back to Jennifer Ishu again. It's past now. I never tell you the major reason I broke up with her. It's not just what I told you earlier. Were. It seems like you really want to know the reason why I broke up with Jennifer. Of cause, I want to. I didn't just broke up with her, just because she is Yaruba, or whatever. But if I told you what really happened, you wouldn't believe. Serious. Yay. She was the girl I supposed to marry. Three weeks after our engagement, I rented an apartment for her. Because I never wanted to bring her home. Until the necessary things are done. So, one day, I took a break from work. I just decided to pay her a surprise visit. When I got there, I caught Jennifer making love with another man. What? Like serious? I was short of words. I couldn't say any word. I shouted at her name. Jennifer. Is this what you do in my absence? Immediately like I heard my voice, he ran away. Then, Jennifer turned backs on me. And she said to me, why are you shouting? Is it not just the sex? After all, he used condom on me. <laughs> Wonders shall never end. So, I walked out of the house. That was how everything happened. <laughs> That's strange. I was very happy then. Because everything happened so fast. I was about planning for marriage, before God exposed her to me. I never knew she did all that. I thought you just broke up with her, because of what you heard some people saying about other tribe. <laughs> I so much thank God that you find out on time. Seriously, God is so kind to me. Assuming we have already married. I wonder what could have happened to me. <laughs> so, about your wife, I advise you to take easy with her. And one thing again, you don't have to do everything she requests from you. If it's for her. That one is different issue. But trying to please her by carrying on every of her family responsibility is what I cannot support you to do. <laughs> do you know ever since we got married, I hardly ask about my parent welfare. Are you serious? When you know that you are the only one they depend on. Ever since we got married, I never add up to my savings account. Neither do I achieve any of the plans I made before getting married. My plans was that after our marriage, I will start my building project. But things is not working the way I planned. 
I spend almost half of my salary on her dresses. She goes to shopping to Dubai twice in a year. I am working is like I'm not working. Before I risk my salary, expenses is at the ground waiting. You know, when you told me that you want to marry, I called you as friend, and I asked you. Do you think is a good idea for you to get married now? Not that getting married was not a good thing, but there are things which a man need to fix up before planning about marriage. You were right. Because I know that marriage is another responsibility. Once you got married, you have added to your responsibility. And you have your two siblings who are in the university, and you are the only hope they have. You are absolutely right. I spend more than I suppose. Do you know that I spend almost 600,000 just for house rent alone? <laughs> wow. I rent 10 two bedroom flats for us to be managing. So with that, I can be able to save some money to start my house project. But she insisted that we should rent another apartment bigger than that. So that when her friends come to visit her, they will know that her husband is a very rich man. And you followed what she said? Without regarding your plans. I was trying to please her, for people not to hear our voice, because we newly got married. But now I am very tired, don't really know what to do again. You have to take it easy. One thing I have to tell you again. You should not forget that you are the head of your home. You shouldn't allow your wife to decide on what is going to happen. That's why you are a man. So you should act like a man. Not letting your wife to control your home. When you are making any plan and you know is good when that is going to bring promotion to the family. Either to start your house project or a business and she come up with her expenses. You don't have to cancel your plans because of her this and that. Rather you should proceed with your plans because that is more important. And you can also still let her know what are your plans. As a family you both have to be seated and make a good plan on how the family is going to grow. So I believed, when you both plan together, she will not see any reason to fix up her own personal expenses again, once you know what is the plan on ground. Then if actually she wants to build up your home with you, then she will prefer you to carry on with the plans for the family, than her own personal. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. I am glad I have you as friend. I will put your advice into use. I really appreciate for your advice. Thank you once again. You are welcome. What are friends for? Yay. I have to live now, before she will start missing me. Okay. My friend. Nice meet you again. Once again, I thank you so much for your advice. See you some other time. Alright bro, bye. Send my greetings to your wife. All right, she will hear. Bye. Catch. What is keeping this man outside by this hour of the night? I wonder what he is doing outside by now. I pray nothing happened to him. Even his phone is not reachable. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> Let it not be what I'm just thinking. Let me go to sitting room and wait for him to come back. Every single day